Welcome to Take Me to the Cloud, a place for business professionals to hear insights and best practices from industry experts that combine cloud systems, operations, supply chain, and finance. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Take Me to the Cloud podcast. My name is Mars, and I'm a consulting intern with the management consulting team here at Witham. Today, I'm here with Wendy Lin and Louis Palmitesta from our team. So, Wendy and Louis, would you like to introduce yourselves? My name is Wendy Lin. I'm a consultant here at Witham, and we do technology consulting and e-commerce services. Thank you, Mars. Thank you, Wendy. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm a delivery manager here at Witham. And yeah, we work with the uh, ERPs and, and, uh, and other systems yeah, implementation at Witham. All right. Thank you so much, Wendy and Lewis, for that introduction. So today we're talking about a very interesting and popular topic, ChatGPT. And as you may already know, after just five days since launch, ChatGPT had already acquired 1 million users, which is faster than that of Instagram, Spotify, and Facebook. It's also one of the first AI project rollouts for the public to use. Though with its intuitive user interface and numerous use cases, users of different ages and backgrounds can use it. It's really exciting to see the start of a new AI era and explore ChatGPT's incredible capabilities. So Wendy, can you tell us more about what ChatGPT is and what its capabilities are? Yeah, sure. ChatGPT is pretty impressive when it comes to generating text that sounds just like human. It's not just a text generator, it's like a smart conversationalist. And this makes it a total game changer in the world of conversational AI. Now, here's when it gets exciting for e-commerce and business in general. You can seamlessly in integrate ChatGPT into your platforms, and it's like adding a personal touch to your customer service. Business can use it to fit their specific needs and making it a crucial part of how they engage with their customers. And it's like having your own chatbot assistant for your customer service strategy. So Mars, can you tell us about some of ChatGPT's capabilities and how we can use it in e -com? Yes. So sure, one of ChatGPT's use cases is actually the ability to provide real-time translation to better localize your e-commerce site for a better customer experience. So localization technologies with ChatGPT are actually a game changer for businesses looking to break down language barriers and create more inclusive online experiences. Localization is the process of adapting content for specific regions, and it's made really seamless with ChatGPT's ability to automatically translate text, which is ideal for building multilingual e-commerce sites. ChatGPT plugins offer real-time language translation, which enables businesses to connect with their customers in their preferred language, which fosters global communication and understanding. But while ChatGPT has its limitations in fully capturing, you know, the cultural nuances, it's a valuable starting point to broaden your audience. Chatbots powered by ChatGPT further enhance the user experiences, understanding, and personalization across multiple languages. And this not only increases efficiency, but it also maintains the localization quality and consistency. However, we still need to rely on human expertise in the post-editing phase. This will ensure that translations capture precise language intricacies and terminology specific to your industry. And actually, a study um, which showcased that lang landing pages and ads that were translated into the local language, clients received on average a 20% increase in conversion rates. But when all content was localized and translated into the local language, including having products in the local currency, clients received a 70% increase in conversion rates. So by connecting customers in their preferred language, your e-commerce site can achieve higher levels of understanding, satisfaction, and ultimately improve conversion rates. So Wendy, can you tell us more about how ChatGPT can help us with SEO and marketing? Yep. So ChatGPT wears many hats in, in the world of e-commerce and regarding in the area of SEO and marketing, especially in content generation, it's great at crafting product descriptions, saving your time and energy, ensuring like each item on your website stands out. Plus it generates SEO friendly content boosting a website search engine for more organic traffic. 
And when it comes to user engagement, ChatGPT is your assistant for responding to customer reviews. It keeps your brand image clean and customer happy. And plus, it keeps the engagement fires burning uh, with your personalized messages and recommendations. And regarding image generation, if you need pictures, ChatGPT can also help. When it is not going to replace the pro photographer, it's heavy, but it's heavy for generating product images, especially for big inventory. And you can even describe a product and ChatGPT can just whip up an image to match, making everything easier for customers to visualize. And it's just like a magic for your product listings. So, Lois, could you tell us a little bit about how ChatGPT can help with the web development piece? Absolutely. Thank you, Wendy. So, yeah, as we've learned already, what yeah, ChatGPT can, can help on, on e-commerce and, and everyday business, business processes, we can, we can also talk about the, how ChatGPT can help on when you develop a website, when, when you create customizations, when you generate code, and, and when you translate even um, uh, one language to another. So it's, it's pretty good on that front. It can write you a code from scratch. So uh, generating semantic HTML and CSS, CSS code, it can generate functions, uh, JavaScript functions, and even database queries. That's a, a very strong part of ChatGPT. And if you know how to use it, it can really get you far on, on the development front. It can also help you debug a code line by line. So instead of now you spend all this time, or all the developers that you know spend nights trying to develop a code, eh, sorry, to debug a code, they, you, you can just leverage ChatGPT on this front. They can copy paste the code, ask the right question because, you know, you might have a hint of what could be going on. And then you can ask what the problem can be. And then ChatGPT, you know, you, you gave them already enough, enough parameters. So ChatGPT can go and debug your code. It might not be perfect, but it can save you a lot of hours in that. It can also create test cases. That's a time consuming task where, you know, all this testing that the testing personnel has to go and manually start creating cases. That's another task you can go and ask that chat GPT and to do. So it, 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 it just, just ask a question about, tell me some cases, some test cases you can use to test the above code. So you copy paste the code and chat GPT goes and, you know, suggests you and it'll give you a head start and sometimes can be a very good one. So you don't, you know, reduce your, your, your effort into less than half. You can also write documentation. At the end of a development, you need to write documentation to, and give it to the client. So same thing. You go and, and ask for documentation about specific code. And as Wendy and Mars mentioned at the beginning, ChatGPT is really good to, to have a, a conversational chat and it can, it can really feels like, like you're talking to a human. So you can leverage that and write documentation about your, your, your code. And at the end of the day, what all, what all this does is enable businesses to meet their goals because now you reduce the time of development. You, you alleviate manual efforts. You short the development time. As I said, minimize errors. And, and at the end of the day, you're supporting the business of objectives uh, of the company. So very good tool for that. So now, Wendy, can you tell us more about the chatbot, chat, uh, the, the, the GPT chatbots? Yep. Um, let's dig deeper into chatbot. So these chatbots are like customer service pros of the digital world. They are great at handling everyday questions with speed and accuracy. Whether it's checking order status, um, tracking shipments, or telling you that if a dream product is in stock, ChatGPT will have you covered. And now this, this is where it gets more exciting. When you blend ChatGPT with e-commerce chatbots, you get a recipe for automation. 
And this means that businesses can let these bots handle a big chunk of customer uh, support tasks. It frees up human reps to focus more on the trickier stuff. And it's like a, it's like having a super friendly customer service team that never sleeps so that it can work 24 <laughs> seven for us. Louis, do you want to add a little bit about the analytics piece for the chatbot? Sure. I'll be glad to talk about that. So it not only helps on, on the development phase or and in the support phase, but it can also help the analytics team and, and give you BI insights. So you can, for example, you can analyze customer data to extract insights. So what you normally do is generate natural language explanations of statistical results. So you, you just feed it with the statistical data and then you can provide some additional context for it and it, it, it can, you know, explain it for you. So you have more confidence on, on how to interpret, you know, the, the, the results. So that's a, that's a good help for the analytics team. You can also, uh, chat TPT is trained to identify patterns that it's one of the best, one of the best benefits of using chat GPT. So what you, what you can do is uh, if you want to know more about a client or know about, about customer behavior, you can ask chat, chat GPT to analyze customer emails or chat logs or other forms of communications. And then uh, the chat GPT can go and identify suspicious patterns of behavior and, and all, uh, such as requests for authorized trans- un- unauthorized transactions or unusual transaction patterns uh, and, and other suspicious activity. <clears throat> so that front, you don't spend, you don't have to read as much. You don't have to spend, again, the, all that time going over uh, customer information so you can leverage chat GPT for that. So at the end of the day, the benefit is huge. It, it provide provide business owners with actionable actionable intelligence instead of waiting for people to give you this analysis. ChatGPT give you give you a head start on or most of it. So now you can refine market marketing strategies and based on that outcome, you can optimize the product mix. You know, based on all the on the results and all the all the customer feedback and analysis and overall improve business decision making, which at the end is what you're what you want. And another topic that I want to talk is how how can Chat GPT help you automate tasks? That's this is more a uh, more clerical work that you can benefit from and and things like you can create spreadsheet formulas using Chat GPT. So you can give a CSV file and and ask to create spreadsheet formulas based on on the data you have there. It requires some input, and you you, you need to know how to fit it. But again, it 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 can save you a lot of time uh, in in the formula creation. Then it can automate the bulk editing of text. So so if you want to change a few things on the text, it, it's this is. A very good tool. You can just tell him, you know, it, it, like the not like the regular find and replace that we always use in Microsoft Word. You can use it here, but a, a larger scale and more intelligent scale. So you can, uh, you know, find and replace has two inputs, but this you can write a full set of parameters, and and it can it can do it for you. So it can be a very powerful tool on changing the context of a document easily. So again, a time saver tool on that front. So now we, we talk about some cool chat GPT use cases and uh, how can it make uh, your life easier. But now, Wendy, can you talk about some limitations of using chat GPT? Yep. So while chat GPT is pretty cool, it's not without its disadvantages, especially when it's dealing with customer service and e-commerce. It signs when when the questions are straightforward, but when things are a little bit tangled up with tricky product issues or disputes, that's when it starts to sweat a little bit. Uh, and now here's a big one. Chat GPT doesn't quite get our emotions. It can't read between the lines when you are feeling mad or over the moon with joy. 
understanding how you feel, it's often a secret sauce in making customers happy. Regarding negotiating, it's also not a strong suit of ChatGPT. It's not great at finding middle ground or making exceptions for the customers. Not at all. Then when it comes to the creative thinking, ChatGPT, it's a little bit like a paint by the numbers kit. So it follows by the rules. It's not your goal to for creative ideas. Humans still rule the creative kingdom. The bottom line is that human brings that special touch. When ChatGPT had those basics, it's not a match for a real person's understanding, empathy, and personalization. And lastly, it might get a bit confused when there are cultural clashes. ChatGPT doesn't fully understand the nuances of different cultures. So things might get lost in translation when it comes to ChatGPT. I mean, overall, it's a valuable tool, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's like a trusty assistant, but it's the dynamic duo of AI and humans that can truly ace the customer service game in e It's about finding that sweet spot when tech meets human touch. All right. Thank you so much, Wendy and Lewis, for sharing about all these exciting capabilities that ChatGPT can do for e-commerce. So whether it's eliminating manual efforts, making processes easier through web development, automation, analysis, or through enhancing the customer experience through localization and chatbots. But we've also learned that ChatGPT also has its limitations and it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. So we really hope that our listeners were able to learn more about these capabilities and can leverage ChatGPT to the fullest. Thank you again for tuning in to the Take Me to the Cloud podcast, and we hope you have a lovely day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Maris. Thank you, Wendy. You've been listening to Take Me to the Cloud. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to be alerted of new episodes. For more information, visit witham.com. 